Stop allowing your mind to be a slave, to be jerked about by selfish impulses, to kick against fate and the present, and to mistrust the future. Marcus Aurelius The quote by Marcus Aurelius, Stop allowing your mind to be a slave, emphasizes the stoic idea of controlling our thoughts and emotions. It highlights how we often enslave ourselves by spending hours on YouTube, endlessly scrolling through Instagram, or mindlessly watching TV all day. These actions can consume our lives, making us slaves to our impulsive desires and the hormones they trigger. This lifestyle can lead to misery as we continuously pursue cheap dopamine hits and fall prey to the slow poison of social media. Marcus advises us to break free from this enslavement, urging us not to allow our minds to be jerked about by these selfish impulses. Instead, he encourages us to embrace the present moment and accept our fate, without excessive worry about the future. This stoic mindset promotes mindfulness, calmness, and self-control, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with greater clarity and serenity. We should discipline ourselves in small things, and from these progress to things of greater value. Marcus Aurelius The quote, we should discipline ourselves in small things, and from these progress to things of greater value. By Marcus Aurelius underscores the Stoic principle of gradual self-improvement. Stoics see improvement as small changes in life that make a huge impact on ourself and these small changes make huge impacts in the real world, this idea of small changes has also been clearly emphasized in James Clear book Atomic Habits, in which he mentions how small changes doing continuously and persistently we can achieve greater things in life. These small changes add up and there is a compounding effect of these habits when all good small habits add up and relative change is more powerful than their individual contribution. Every day we should strive to change one small thing about us, and be persistent about it. The smaller the change the more we keep that change as it takes less effort to keep it. And then chain these small habits so they become easier to work with and take less willpower and mental effort to execute every day. In the end, Marcus suggests that by mastering small challenges and practicing self-discipline in everyday matters, we can build the foundation for tackling more significant challenges. This approach encourages steady progress, helping us develop resilience and skills that are essential for handling life's larger complexities. He who cannot obey himself will be commanded. That is the nature of living creatures. Friedrich Nietzsche the quote, he who cannot obey himself will be commanded. That is the nature of living creatures. By Friedrich Nietzsche reflects the idea that if we are unable to exercise self-control and discipline over our own actions and desires, we become susceptible to external influences and circumstances. You can see this pattern from animals to humans and even in children those who are emotionally impulsive, non-thinkers who don't put much effort into making decisions and analyzing their own actions, this person often fail in every situation and battle of life, cause his decision are manipulated by emotions, he can't see through the age clutter of thoughts and others opinion, and this makes him weak and easy to manipulate targets and take advantage of by friends and people around him. This ability not to be disciplined makes him, fail in every task and eventually fail completely. If you do not control your shitty impulsive emotions and thoughts that control your progress and how much you work, then those who control their brains and have power over themselves, who relentlessly work hard on themselves will make sure to make you their underpaid worker. This notion highlights the importance of self-mastery and the ability to govern our impulses, as those who lack such control may find themselves subject to the control of others or circumstances beyond their control. In essence, it emphasizes the autonomy that comes from being able to direct our own actions and decisions. When force of circumstance upsets your equanimity lose no time in recovering your self-control, and do not remain out of tune longer than you can help. Habitual recurrence to the harmony will increase your mastery of it. Marcus Aurelius
The quote, when force of circumstance upsets your equanimity lose no time in recovering your self-control, and do not remain out of tune longer than you can help. The quote is mostly self-explanatory but clearly emphasizes the importance of self-control. When you find yourself in hard and difficult situations in life, you may lose control of your emotions and lose awareness of time and your own existence within it. Therefore, when facing emotionally disturbing situations, it's essential to be self-aware and regain your composure as quickly as possible, making yourself stronger and more capable of handling the situation effectively. These challenging moments and situations will inevitably occur in life, regardless of the good deeds you do or the hard work you put in, or even how virtuous you are as a person. Adversities are unavoidable, and they will come your way repeatedly. If you lose control, it will weaken your position in the face of adversity, making you even more vulnerable. Instead, you should reflect upon these situations and make the wise choice to confront them with maturity and a heightened sense of awareness. No greater thing is created suddenly, any more than a bunch of grapes or a figure. If you tell me that you desire a fig, I answer you that there must be time. Let it first blossom, then bear fruit, then ripen. Epictetus the quote, no greater thing is created suddenly, by Epictetus emphasizes the natural process of growth and development in life and task we want to achieve. It reminds us that significant achievements or changes in life don't happen abruptly, they require time and gradual progress. Just like the stages a fig or a bunch of grapes goes through, starting from blossoming, to bearing fruit, and finally ripening, our goals and aspirations also need to undergo a journey of continuous effort, patience, and nurturing. This quote encourages us to respect the natural order of things and reminds us that true success and meaningful results are achieved through consistent, step-by-step -step advancement rather than seeking instant gratification.